Flight Simmers, uh, we're going to try a flight today with the Beechcraft Bonanza G36 from New Samarina Beach, Kilo Echo Victor Bravo to Orlando, Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar. We're going to land on runway 17 left with a frequency of 110.95. We're going to use the world map for our flight plan. Let's see if we can find, uh, click on here, and that is Orlando International. So we'll set that as our arrival. I'm going to zoom out here and see if I can find uh, New Samaritan Beach. Let's see. Maybe this is it here. Yeah, there it is. Kilo Echo Victor Bravo. Set that as our departure. And we need to do low altitude airways. And we need to select a runway. 17 left. ILS. So now we have a flight plan. You can see it here. And this is a 30 minute flight, roughly. So we're going to hit fly. IFR departure runway 29er. King Air 107 altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2 wind calm. Cleared for takeoff runway 29er. Okay, Cleared here's our plane. Takeoff runway 29er King Air 107. The Beechcraft Bonanza G36. And we're at New Samarina Beach Airport. Rolling out ready to take off on the runway. So let's get ready to fly. Now this is basically meant for just playing the game Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm not intending this to be for how to fly the plane in the real world. So I'm going to keep this fairly simplified. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and take a look at the frequency uh, that's set. Now if I click on this, you can see it goes to V2 and then Nav1. So I want it up on Nav1 and we're going to take a look at the uh, frequency. So you can um, go to uh, Google and just uh, bring up Flight Plan Database. Hit on Tools and type in Kilo Mike Charlie Oscar. And that's Orlando. You hit search. Then you go to runway 17 left. And you can see the frequency is 110.95 megahertz. So that's what you want to make sure is in here. 110.95. In order to swap that, you just hit the swap button. So if you program that in using these uh, dials here, you would enter that and then hit swap. So that's how you get that frequency in there by scrolling the large and small to bring it up. Now you want it on uh, GPS. See, so you got some options here. You want it on GPS. Uh, this is your altitude. Here we have our speed. And uh, here's the buttons mainly we're going to use for programming um, ILS and. Uh, autopilot flight plan following. Here's the autopilot flight director, the nav button, the vertical speed, 
up and down and the approach hole button. I'm going to go down here with my uh, throttle on idle and uh, I'm going to have to make sure the landing gear is down. So we need to take off the parking brake, which is right there. And also um, this engine cow flap. So I'm just going to put this down so it on takeoff and climb um, doesn't get too hot. And your temperature gauge is up above. Also, um, once we get going here, uh, I'm going to adjust the fuel mixture and the propeller just to get them running a little better for our RPMs. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go over to the screen here. Here's your uh, navigation map. It shows our magenta line, so our plane, if everything's going well, should be following that line. This will adjust our altitude. So I'm just going to set that on 6,000. This will give you uh, hundreds, and this will give you thousands. So we'll just go to 6,000. And get that up to 6,000. You can do it went up here, you can see. Alrighty, uh, PTOF switch is off. We don't really need it on. And it's down here somewhere. Strobe lights are on. Beacon lights are on. Nav lights are on. PTOF, we'll put that on anyway because what it'll do is take that little warning off there. All right, so I'm just going to pull back here so we can see out the window. So we've got the parking brake off. So we're going to take off now. We've got our flaps down. You can see right here, it's 12 degrees. There's our trim set. So a lot of this stuff is done for you when you use the world map and select take off from the runway. You don't have to do the startup checklist, etc. No, let's just get this thing rolling. Okay, I'm just going to gently pull back. What I'm going to do is fly down the end of the runway and bring up my landing gear. start turning in the direction we have to go. You can see that in the compass in the upper left of the screen there. King Air 107, contact Daytona departure on 125.35. Good day. Bring up my flaps. Going to 125.35, King Air 107. Daytona departure, King Air 107 is at 900 feet, climbing 5,000 feet. King Air 107, Daytona departure, altimeter 2, niner, decimal niner 2, continue to worms as planned. King Air 107, climb and maintain 6,000 feet. Climb and maintain 6,000 feet, King Air 107. So I'm just using my uh, Logitech joystick here to fly this thing and uh, using the yoke to control the rudder and the ailerons, etc. So we're getting close to being in line with our pipe plan here. So I'm going to go inside now. I'm going to turn on the autopilot, flight director, nav mode, vertical speed, and we want to be going up. So you can see what the setting is there. The plane is now turning to follow the flight plan, and we're climbing. Just make sure you don't get into a stall situation if you're climbing too steeply. I'm going to cut that back a little bit. It's a little 
hard to read, isn't it? Control 2 will bring the screen up a little better. Yeah, I don't want to climb quite that fast with this plane. Okay, let's take a look at our gauges. See we're climbing nicely and our speed is 125. I'm just gonna go back here and look at the screen here. You can see our RPMs are a little high there. So now I'm just going to uh, adjust the propeller. You can hear that and the mixture. Adjust it till the propeller sounds okay, nice and smooth. Let's go we'll have a look now. See the RPMs have dropped. And um, this looks pretty good here. On that gauge, oil temperature looks fine, oil pressure. Alright. So right now everything is going nicely. Just take a look around the plane a little bit. That's your uh, primary screen there. Your heading um, bug. You can, if, you, if you hit heading here, take over and you can direct the plane with this one. That's your nav frequency. CID button, we looked at that earlier. So a lot of this other stuff is automatically set for you. You can check those out. You can insert a little map here if you want it in the corner, but we already have a nice one over here on the map navigation screen. So this is where you can uh, toggle for your flight plan. And you can scroll. You should be able to scroll. Oh, right here. Sorry. Oh, but that'll show you your waypoints, your runway. How far you have to go to get there, your uh, headings, just press flight plan again and that will go off. This will give you any alerts you have, you can set time, a timer, you can find your nearest airports in case you want to redirect yourself by selecting one of those. Just going to go control three now. All right, and this is automatically done for you. And that's your cowl flaps, engine cowl flap setting. Um, so this is uh, to control the heat within, parking brake. That's an operative. And control four. You can see. I'm controlling that just using the joystick. Now when you do uh, something like that, you want to make sure that you haven't turned your off. Alrighty, let's go control 5. Okay, so that's your fuel selector switch. Control 6. This is all in operative uh, items. That's your magneto, and I think we looked at those de-ice, strobe lights, nav lights are on. Also, there's some information on the door here. So, to have your landing gear down, should be 154 knots or, or less. Flaps, 154. Flaps full down would be 124 knots. And maneuvering, you should be doing about 141 knots. Now, 
control 7, control 8, control 9. So I'm holding down the control key and pressing the numbers across the top of the keyboard to give me the different views. We've got a little compass up here. Now you can enter your tail information in your settings to customize when you pick the aircraft. You can pick some liveries as well, and that's going to show up in here. Also, let's take a look at the plane on the other side. It's a really nice looking plane. You can see that shows up there, your tail information too. And in this plane underneath as well. So, Jacksonville Center on 134.0. Good day. 134.0 King Air 107. Jacksonville Center King Air 107 6000 feet. King Air 107 Jacksonville Center altimeter 29er decimal 9 or 2 continue to worms as planned. Okay, everything's going well. We got air traffic control on to guide us in, give us some directions on our altitudes. We are at the proper altitude, and we're getting ready to turn towards uh, Orlando International Airport shortly. And we'll be heading, I think that's a southerly direction there. Let's see what the company, yeah, that's north on the compass there, on the map. Okay, right there. So with this range thing, you can zoom in and zoom out. You can also like grab it with your mouse, left mouse button and kind of go like that. And you get a little arrow cursor that can help you uh, move. And I've noticed sometimes that it shows up and sometimes you can't get it to show up. But anyway, nevertheless, that would allow you to drag along uh, this little arrow cursor and it will go over and push the screen. Right now, I can't seem to see where it's at. Let's see if I can get it on here. Not really. Nope. But, could be just a little quirk in the system here. Normally that'll work. Okay, so we're heading in the right direction. We're going to follow some instructions from air traffic control and I don't think there's anything else really we need to be concerned about we just enjoy the Florida scenery here down below and scroll around here and see some of the lakes Atlantic Ocean is out here and a beautiful day for a flight and a great plane. Going to one tree four decimal zero five. King Air one zero seven. Orlando approach King Air one zero seven six thousand feet. King Air one zero seven Orlando approach altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two continue to Kaiser as planned. Okay, so um for the barometric pressure, I'm going to hit B on the keyboard, and it's okay the way it is. If you wanted to change it, you can scroll and change the barometric pressure manually. But I usually just use the keyboard and press B on the keyboard, which will set that. So it's correct right now. That's to zoom in and zoom out on the map. So we don't have a map up on the screen right here. If we had it there, I think it would zoom in and zoom out. Speed not above 210 knots, expect 
So they've named a waypoint after Detective Bosch from a novel, famous novel in the uh, Amazon Prime series. Just joking, of course. Okay, there we go. Take off and climb lean as required, descent and rich as required before landing full rich. So we'll uh, we'll put that on to full rich when we uh, when we get ready to land. Hopefully, I remember to do that, and we'll watch our uh, speeds as well. So we're getting pretty close here. So what we're going to attempt here is a ILS approach and landing using the autopilot on a one seven left. So we've entered our frequency for the runway, so it should go okay. Pretty soon we're going to be descending. Just use my uh, joystick button there to bring up air traffic control. So you can point the ground stuff into your Xbox controller or your joystick. So I've got the tower in there. I've got autopilot on there. Descent and maintain 5,000 feet. Descent and maintain 5,000 feet. King Air 107. Let's go down 5,000 feet. Scrolling, you can see it going down here. And that's at vertical speed down. So I'm going to descend at about 1,000. So I'm just going to watch my speed. So it doesn't get too high. It's going to climb up into the yellow there. i cut it back. So, air traffic control is going to be bringing us down to the proper altitude to pick up the glide slope. So just remember to hit V on your keyboard uh, periodically to make sure your experimental pressure is okay. So we're down to should level off now at 5,000. King Air 107, descend and maintain 4,000 feet. Okay, so now we're going down to 4,000. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet, King Air 107. So vertical speed's gone off, we have to put it back on and go down again. Okay, we're descending. So again, keep an eye on your speed. Pretty soon we'll be putting down our landing gear. We're below the speed uh, that it's uh, safe to do so, and we'll be putting down our flaps. The landing, when we get closer. So, a very easy plane to fly, very enjoyable. Clips along at a really nice place, pace, and uh, it's fun to fly. King Air 107, descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Okay, we're going down to 3,000 Descent and now. maintain 3,000 feet, King Air 107. So I'm going to hit vertical speed down. So 
So we're getting fairly close now. So what I'm going to do now is go over to the primary screen here and I'm going to hit localizer right there and localizer 1 came on because we have the frequency entered and now I'm going to hit approach and we'll see if we can make sure our approach is on so we should pick up the glide slope it's right now it's GS uh, is in white let's see how we make out here we'll put down the landing gear put down some flaps And we're descending. King Air 107 descend and maintain 2,500 feet. Okay, we gotta go to 2,500. Descend and maintain 2,500 feet, King Air 107. Okay, vertical speed down. So we should pick up that glide slope soon. Still on uh, LLC. Coming up to 500, 2500 rather. And once we see this start dropping below 2,500, we'll know we picked up the glide slope. So watch your speed. Uh, you don't want to be too fast here. Right now we're doing 104 knots. King Air 107, you are 10 miles north of Orlando. Contact Orlando Tower on 118.45 inbound. Tower on 118.45, King Air 107. Orlando Tower, King Air 107, Niner miles north inbound, ILS runway 17 left approach. King Air 107, Orlando Tower. Altimeter 2, Niner decimal, Niner 2, wind calm, cleared, ILS runway 17 left approach. Cleared, ILS runway 17 left approach, King Air 107. Just went green, GS, glide slope, so we picked it up, so we're descending now to the runway. And at this point we got our speed at 103 roughly. And we'll gradually slow down as we get closer. And I'm just gonna put that on. I'm bring this up now. Full rich there. So you want your nose up, pitched up slightly just before you land, and then bring your nose down gently. Once your uh, rear wheels uh, make contact with the you can side view as we get closer. Seat. King Air 107, wind calm, clear to land, runway 17 left. Clear to land, runway 17 left, King Air 107. We got these little interesting warnings here. <laughs> and uh, stuff on the wing that you can read. So it's really nicely rendered. Alright, ILS 
runway 17 left. I'm lined up nicely. You can tell here as well if that's lined up. Oh, you get the nose pitched up slightly at this point, just ever so slightly. Coming up to 1,000. So we got our speed now around 82 knots. 80 to 82 in that range for landing. So just before you land, you take her off autopilot. And once we touch down, I'm going to be using my joystick to brake. RPMs look pretty good. So you want to see right here, you want to see two white and two red if you're really on the glide slope properly. And eventually as you get closer that will, you know, go red it loses its uh, sort of orientation with the aircraft but that's what you want to see on approach if you got all white you're too high you got all red you're too low I'll just let you watch this land from the side and then we'll go inside to keep it as straight as we can on the runway. Okay, you can shut the autopilot off and cut right back on your throttle. Okay, just put the nose down gently. Almost looked like we had a flat tire on the front. Carrier 107 exit runway when able. Okay, so good landing. Let's go outside. I'm going to exit the runway when able. Probably at the next spot up here. So, thank you very much for joining me on this flight. I'm not going to take you to the gate because uh, it will take a while. I hope you got some tips and pointers on how to fly this plane. Uh, certainly just in Microsoft Flight Simulator. King Air 107, exit runway when able. Uh, I'm able right now, buddy. So, uh, yeah, it's not King meant to fly the plane in the real world. This would be simply for the game. King Air 107. So I hope this helps you uh, fly the plane in Microsoft Flight Sim and enjoy it. So I just brought the flaps up. So uh, you can um, you can contact ground.